your intentions have to be in the right place. I'm telling you from the get, from the get go, like if you're a photographer, I want to provide as quality fucking content to as many people as I possibly can and then people will recognize and start paying $500 for 10 pictures. Like I had to do that on my boat party the other, other month. Maybe this looks better. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, we'll see. What's poppin', everybody? Welcome to the video. As you can tell by the title of this video, thumbnail of this video, whatever enticed you to click on this video, this is how you succeed in any business. Um, I've been meaning to make this video for a while, but uh, someone just texted me today, said, yo, can you make a video on this? I was like, yo, I got you. So we're gonna dive in depth about how basically all of my businesses that I start, they, they succeed. Um, I have a couple. So this isn't really gonna work for like drop shipping uh, because drop shipping, you know, is kind of just like more of a psychology thing where like you entice someone to buy something. Uh, but this will work for like a, a marketing agency, dropping an NFT collection. Um, basically, like this worked for Amazon, this worked for Facebook, this, this works for everyone, um, basically. Because every single giant company, successful business that you see out there, what do you think they all have in common? What do you think? They all add insane amounts of value to everyone that consumes their products, uh, their website, whatever it is. Whatever the, the, the thing that you're selling might be, has to be so fucking good, it's a no brainer, right? So for me, with, with starting my consulting business, um, I added a stupid amount of free value for as long as I could, until I had like a million followers. I was just building trust, providing free value so that when I did come out with the program that like people could pay for, it was a no-brainer, right? Because obviously I can add this much value. Imagine when you have to pay for it, right? So this is just my example. Uh, same with like an NFT project. There's so many NFT projects that are literally just, they're doing it for cash grabs. So if you can come up with something that has an insane utility and make it affordable, then it's a no-brainer, right? And this literally goes with fucking every single thing in business is just add value and have your intentions be in the right place, right? Like, like I said, everything's a fucking energy game, relationships, business, Friendships, everything is an energy game. The energy that you can provide to someone, they pick it up on, they pick it up immediately. Like if, if I were just doing this for money, you guys would know, right? You guys would easily know, but my intentions have always been from the jump, I'm gonna add a stupid amount of value because that's what I have a passion for and the money's gonna come naturally. So whatever your business may be, that's what your, your intentions have to be like, yo, I'm doing this for the longevity of it, not just to make a quick buck because I can tell when people's egos are involved and they just want to do something for money because that's not how you succeed in today's world. The only way to succeed in today's world is thinking long term, probably not making a profit for the first like couple months because you're you're focused on building trust, rapport, and uh, adding value for free. Because when you add value for free, people it, it makes people wonder like, yo, what else does this man got locked in his brain right now? What else does this woman got locked in her brain right now that I want to know that I don't know? How much can I? How much can I gain from their knowledge if I pay a little bit, you know? So any single business you want to succeed, your intentions can't be like, yo, I wanna get rich as fuck, right? Unless like you wanna like start a drop shipping business and then run a bunch of ads and scale it. But like, that's that's not what I, I, I didn't wanna just make money to make money, you know? Because I feel like that would be unfulfilling. And to create reality, we, we dive deep in like how you can make money doing something that you love. There's like a 30 minute module and then a worksheet on how you can make money doing something that you love uh, because I feel like that's the most important thing about life and I feel like that's why college is so silly for like a lot of people obviously like we need engineers we need lawyers we need doctors and like if you love those things like if you love being a nurse and helping people and that's your way of helping people like working for someone else to help other people then fuck yeah do that you know if you want to be a lawyer to help people with like their lawsuits fuck yeah do that but for me, I, I always knew that I didn't need college to be successful because there's so many options out there, especially with the internet. If you literally give yourself like a fucking, like an hour without your phone, without any distractions, and you just sit there and think like, okay, what business can I start that I would actually love doing, right? Whether that be fucking landscaping, like trimming people's bushes, like I don't know, like just literally get creative. Like I have a friend, one of my best friends from home actually has an LLC, so like it's a legit business called Odd Jobs. Inc. Odd Jobs Incorporated, where he literally, 
he's, he got very connected in like our hometown. And so all of our friends' parents started hitting him up just to do tedious shit around the house, okay? And then like they started recommending him to other people. So now he's, he's starting to hire people. And he's, he's, he literally makes so much money because they can charge whatever you want to do tedious shit or else they wouldn't hire you to do it. They just do it themselves because they weren't really pay, willing to pay whatever. So just like literally, the, the, I have people that take sales calls for me. Like if you want to work one-on-one with me, like I have people that will hop on a phone call, be like, yo, bro. Like, and this is helping people too because like by working with me, they're getting help. So a salesperson, like if you want to hop on a phone, connect with people and like sell them offers. You can make 20% commission on $1,000, $3,000 offers and like from your home, from your home. Like it's never been fucking easier. Never been fucking easier, but your intentions can't be like, yo, I'm trying to make up some bread. I'm trying to get breaded up. Like obviously like in the back of your mind, it's always going to be like really enticing that money comes along, but your intentions have to be in the right place. I'm telling you from the get, from the get go, like if you're a photographer, I want to provide as quality fucking content to as many people as I possibly can and then people will recognize and start paying $500 for 10 pictures. Like I had to do that on my boat party the other other month, a while ago. $500 for like 10 pictures, right? I was I was not expecting that, but like, yo, I had to do it because that's the, the quality of the pictures I wanted. You know, so it's like, fuck, uh, supply and demand, right? Like if you market yourself the right way by adding a fuck ton of value, like people are gonna recognize that. It's all about energy, bro. Like. People can tell when you're just in sh- in something to make s- some bread. And like people don't really fuck with people that are just in it to make some bread, you know, because people want to fuck with genuine people. Genuine, authentic people. So like there, there's been times where like I've worked with people for free. It's very rare that happens because like my time is just crazy valuable now. And like like how someone like how someone like treats the waiter or a homeless person will tell you everything you need to know about them. Right? Like, obviously, I'm not going to, like, go on, a, like, a tangent about how, like, I always give homeless people money because that would, then my intentions would be in the wrong place with that because, like, I, I do that because what goes around comes around, right? And because it, it feels good. So once you can realize that what goes around comes around and the, the universe is a vibrational fucking place, the, the earth is a vibrational place that every single little action you do changes your vibration. So, like, if you litter, very low vibrational act, you're registering that in your subconscious, like... It comes down to literally every minuscule thing you do. If it's not in alignment with you, your vibrational state is going to change and it's going to determine what you attract. So only do what's right. It's pretty much that simple. Only do what's right and you know inherently what is right and what is wrong. Right? Right? We know this. Like if you steal, we know. Come on. It's not the right thing to do. Goes around, comes around. And business is like, Amazon didn't make a profit for like something like five years. Amazon because they were so focused on being the best for for like for no profit because they wanted to build trust and rapport and that reputation and that's literally what I have to do like with my NFT project like people wouldn't be so stoked about my NFT project if they didn't trust me the way they trust me it's been so strategic this whole time like ever since I started this I was like I I want to build trust with people because I'm a genuine dude and people need to know I'm a genuine dude so I'm not going to advertise anything I literally just got monetized on YouTube there wasn't even ads on my videos for such a long time um I, like people would reach out to me for Instagram ads all the fucking time and I would say no all of these all of these opportunities for me to make a quick buck but I would like saturate my following you know and I always said no I always said no because I wanted to build trust and I wanted to show people that I didn't care about making a quick buck now people trust me you can literally replicate the same exact shit whether it be your personal brand your business whatever it is you want to do adding value always comes back around always comes back around so recap Always be in- intending to add value. Have your intentions in the right place. Don't worry about the money. Just worry about doing the right thing and it comes back around. Um, be a trustworthy person. Don't do things that aren't in alignment with you. Um, be persistent, especially with the business. Like you have to realize that like, yo, hundred thousands of dollars aren't just gonna make themselves. It's not gonna come in. It's not just gonna fly into your lap. Um, but when you're, when you're consistent in the right place, intentionally, you're persistent, you're resilient, the money's gonna come. The money will come, and but you have to have a clear vision of your idea. Like, okay, here's what I wanna do, here's how I'm gonna do it, here's when it's gonna happen by, and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna formulate all these things and put them right in together. Cause you can only manifest so much, you know? You can only manifest so much. Like, you have to be putting in the action, your intentions have to be in the right place. You have to appreciate the things that aren't in your life yet, but they are coming. Like, 
gratitude for the things that you don't have but are gonna come because you're so grateful to, to be living a, like a yacht, for example. Like, I'm grateful that I have a yacht, but I don't have a yacht yet, you know? But I'm not just gonna say that, I'm gonna do the actions to get the yacht as well. So it's like this, this secret sauce. Whew. Okay, all right. Guys, if you appreciate any of the content I put out as much as I appreciate you watching it, drop a like on this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. I've been grinding, trust me, I've been grinding. Um, I love you. Come back for more. Put those notifications on because I've been putting up bangers all the time. I love you and I'll see you in the next video. Let's go.